going on guys? It is, I forget what day it is, Wednesday. It is about five and a half weeks into my cut. This past week is like the first week I actually feel like I didn't make any progress. I feel like I've stalled a little bit. The first month, like progress was really quick. Things were happening really quick. I wasn't really even thinking about my cut because I was traveling so much. I've definitely been more on point since I've been home. I've been moving and stuff like that, but I don't know, I haven't made progress this week. So things are definitely going to change a little bit for me. I'm not taking away any food, I'm adding in a little bit more cardio. So I'm definitely going to start focusing on maybe three times a week cardio. I haven't talked to my coach, Will, yet about it, only because I've been like working with Will for such a long time and like I really like having accountability, but I obviously know what to do. Like I've, I've done this myself before and I think having a coach, if you need accountability, is really really great honestly it's so great if you like struggle with accountability but i don't i use him for my preps because i i need like someone to tell me exactly what to do when i have to hit a deadline i have to like look a certain way for a show but now that i don't really have to look a certain way and i'm keeping myself accountable i'm gonna check in with him and he's gonna keep doing my programming which i have to talk to him about for like the nutrition and cardio wise i'll probably just do stuff for myself at this point but i really just want to increase my expenditure so decrease rest times during my hypertrophy workouts like in between sets and stuff like that not during compound lifts and then focusing on a little bit more cardio so right now i'm doing three to five intervals of hit a week for one time and then 20 to 30 minutes of cardio or so definitely going to increase that a little bit i'll increase the hit intervals to probably six to eight intervals per session one session and then i'll probably do an extra like 15 or 20 minutes of cardio make sure that i like do a proper 10 minute warm up before my workouts, stuff like that. I will keep you guys updated. But weight was 137.2 this morning. This is my second, my first time weighing myself since the 136.2. So I'm up a pound, it happens. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> What's up guys? So, so story really quick, along with my physique update diary entry, I broke my Sony RX100. It just fell and the lens broke. And then I borrowed Brian's because he has the same one. And I have two backup cameras because I was like trying out new cameras and I finally found one that I really liked. So I'm filming on my Canon DSLR. It's an ADD and it has the only lens that I have for it at the moment is a, I forget the number, but it's a really close up lens. So I have to put you guys really far away. But update, I am still weighing more than I was before. I'm 138 this morning and I started at 139. I got down to 136 at one point and now I'm 138. But I feel really good. Like, I feel like I look good. I feel like my body is still kind of changing. Like, I feel definitely different from when I started, like 1000%. There's a lot of factors that can go into play when you're losing body fat. And I am essentially um, adding in some more cardio. So I'm just kicking up the like notch, I guess. I'm, I'm like leveling up with my workouts, I guess. So I'm just like pushing a little bit harder, being less like lackadaisical about like my movements and like really focusing, really getting that mind muscle connection going, shortening rest times between bodybuilding. Exercise is not necessarily like my compound lifts, like squats, deadlifts, bench press are all staying within the same like rest time because you can't really decrease the rest time for those. But all the other stuff, decreasing the rest times a little bit and I'm currently doing one hit cardio session a week it's on Sundays along with abs so I'm just focusing on abs and cardio on Sundays which is what I did this morning I'm doing more steady state cardio I like steady state cardio and I like literally waking up going to my apartment gym and like walking on the treadmill or like maybe even running a little bit I broke my I broke my ankle I rolled my ankle so I have this it's like a little swollen so the cardio that I did this morning was just like prowler pushes on the sled. Um, I just like pushed the sled back and forth and then I did superset with the battle rope. So that was good. It wasn't too hard on my ankle or anything like that. But I'm going to be doing more steady state cardio in the mornings for like 20 minutes or so because I love the feeling of getting up and moving. It just feels so good to wake up and go move. I'm not doing fasted cardio for any other reason aside from the fact that I like it. And yeah, that's gonna be the update. So I'm gonna start doing that three times a week along with being a little bit more on track with my macros. I was kind of like not weighing things and just like saying like, eh, to like bites of stuff. But I'm gonna try to like stay a little bit more honed in on everything because there's only six weeks left officially as of today. It's Sunday, officially as of today. So that's the update, it's Sunday, May 14th. Oh, 
135.6. I have not weighed that this whole entire time. Like that's a pound down for my lower weigh in. So woohoo. All right, so the last time that I talked to you guys, I was up in weight from my like starting. I was at like 130. I started at 139. I think I was at 138 like a few days ago and I just am 135.6 today which is awesome because I just recently implemented like a little increase in cardio and adding an extra low carb day. It worked, back on track, broke through that fat loss plateau. This is what I'm looking like this morning. Definitely feel like I'm like losing body fat. It just, I feel better for sure. So that's where we're at, that's where we're at. that matched my last low weigh-in pretty sure I forget you guys saw this video but either way the cut is still going really well like I a thousand percent feel much leaner much tighter and like the weight isn't coming off like that much but it still is like it's trending down and I feel really good like, my energy levels are still really high strength is still really high as well I hit 185 for 5 by 5 squats yesterday, so that still is like right in line with where my strength is supposed to be, where it has been this whole entire time, and it's like only, like I don't feel negative dieting effects or anything yet at all. This is like the end of week seven, so I'm feeling really good, honestly. Like I feel good. I feel like this is the point in a cut where I don't feel like shredded or anything yet. Like there's still, I feel, I feel great. And like my curves aren't gone or anything yet. So um, I'm still gonna like progress forward and give it my all for the next five weeks, I believe. But I am at the point where I'm feeling like a little like ready to, to eat something that isn't within my macros, which is fine. I'm gonna plan for that tomorrow. So excited. I'm not dieting for a show or anything. So it's, it's, Fine to like eat off every once in a while like it's not gonna kill you I want I'm like the type of person that likes to give as much as I can into something so I don't like need to but I feel like mentally I want to and I need to so I know that it's gonna like put me back two steps in order to progress three steps forward so I'm excited and I'll catch you guys in the next update at the very end of the week next week see you guys there good morning I'm so tired is the day after the sweet potato fries, the burger, and the ice cream, and I also had a jalapeno popper appetizer. So good. That was my free meal for the cut so far. I haven't had one yet. I'm gonna give you guys a body update of what I look like right now, and then the next update you'll see would be like my full eight-week update, which I'll be filming this Thursday. Today is Sunday, so... So as you guys can see, not that bad, not that different. I think my body needed it. I feel really refreshed and ready to go for the next five weeks of this cut. We're gonna be doing a physique update for week eight. This is officially the end of week eight for my project me my cut it's going well and i'm excited to show you guys so i'm going to be comparing i'll show you guys like what i look like now and then i'll compare it to what i looked like before and just so you guys can see and then we'll talk about actual progress made so let's get to it my eight week physique update. I was 134.4 this morning, which is a low weigh in for me. Super excited about that. And I just wanted to give you guys a little recap on what happened this month. So the first two weeks of the month, I definitely hit a fat loss stall. That's why I made those videos on how to break through a fat loss plateau. I was stalled, had to change something up. So what I did, I added an extra low carb day to my carb cycle that I'm currently on. So that means I added a 
as opposed to three low, one high, three low, one high repeat. I did four low, one high, four low, one high repeat as to increase the caloric deficit for the entirety of the week because that helps too. And then another thing that I did was increase my HIIT cardio session that I'm currently doing. So I was doing six intervals and now I'm doing eight intervals. Along with that, I increased my steady state cardio from two times a week for 30 minutes to three times a week for 20 to 30 minutes or so. It's small changes, but they did actually really help. Along with that, I have had a cheat meal. So that wasn't something that technically helped, but if you think about it, I hit a low weigh-in today, three days later, and maybe, maybe it helps spike my metabolism a little bit, remind my body that I'm not trying to kill it, like we talked about in the carb cycling videos and in the cheat meal video too as well. So I did that, and that definitely put me like three steps back, I feel, or maybe just one step back to take two steps forward, really. That's, that's probably what it did. One step back, two steps forward, that's the point of it. And here I am, I've officially lost five or so pounds on this eight week cut, which is really, really good for me. My metabolism, if you guys know and watch my That Prep Life series, my metabolism is super adaptive. I'm one of those people that just adapts, adapts, adapts every single time you make some changes. So after this, I'm going to be making some more changes. So my coach dropped my carbs on my low carb days to 15 carbs less. So we're gonna use that and then that's gonna be the next round of like caloric deficit increase. Sticking to my training, sticking to my cardio. Strength's been pretty good so far. I've been like maintaining my strength, I'd say. I definitely don't think I'm getting stronger at this point, but I've maintained what I had had previously. And the last week I was traveling, so it's kind of like traveling, traveling workouts or like always me. So getting back into the swing of things now that I'm home for this month and then energy levels are still pretty good. Hunger levels aren't too, too bad. Like I told you guys before, I had the burger and fries and stuff like that. The other night I was getting a little bit more like picky at foods and like I wanted more because like I could feel the deficit a little bit more, but I think I'm good now. And then uh, next week, after this week of, so after, what's today? Wednesday. So I know this is going up on Friday, but starting on Sunday, I'm pretty sure my coach is having me do a diet break. So we're gonna be making videos about those, talk to you guys about diet breaks, stuff like that. But after that, we're gonna be pushing harder. I'm excited for it. I'm excited to like continuously make progress and show you guys that you can do it without having an extreme approach to things. You can do them with a moderate approach. Yes, like five pounds in eight weeks doesn't seem like a lot to some people. Some people gain and lose five pounds in a day. For me, that is really good. That's about a half a pound or so a week, a little less a little more, whatever, something like that. It's still morning for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys got something out of it. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I'm gonna be doing it again on the 12 week update. And if I like missed anything that you guys wanted me to go over that you haven't seen in my other videos, let me know because I will definitely implement that in the cut video. So also by the way, it might not be the full end of the cut. So after this cut, Brian and I are going to Hawaii for my birthday. Wow and just for his birthdays in July too, and just to celebrate, we both deserve a vacation, and I'm excited about it. You guys are gonna be seeing some traveling vlogs, which is like vacation vlogs. It's, I'm excited for it. But yeah, so after that, I might even just like continue on. I don't know if I'm gonna like reach my goal goal. I wanted to like hit around 130 pounds or just feel like kind of lean. Like I do, I feel really good now. And like I enjoy the process and like I feel so much better than I did before, regardless of like the number. But I wanted to like get a little bit leaner and I have like five weeks left. So of this particular like cycle. So well, I definitely want to reverse diet and do everything the right way. But I don't think that this after Hawaii is like the time to start doing that. I feel like I might want like a few more weeks of being in like a deficit because I still feel really good and like I haven't had like negative side effects of a deficit yet. So I think I'm good for a while. I will let you guys know at the end of the 12 week cut. So, and just a disclaimer, I'm not trying to like get stage lean or anything. I just feel like I could give a little bit more. That's all. Cause I've been doing this like at a slow pace, slow controlled pace and 16 weeks or 14, 16 weeks is not like abnormal. I think I just wanted to do 12 to like give myself something to say like, I'm doing this, it's ending this time. I wanna push myself. I have this like amount of periods of time. I guess it's just the mindset for me that like having some sort of like end of it was good for me. Reevaluating a little bit. And aside from that, I will let you guys know, keep you guys all updated. Thank you guys for watching the video today. I'll catch you guys in the next one.